friends, I'm back to do another reading vlog and it's been a bit since I've actually sat down and done one. So we're going to have a theme for this one. So I am participating in Margaret the Wernard's mid-year reading scramble and I'm going to choose to focus on her currently reading board and it's kind of like a flow chart. So like the first thing is the most recent. So since I just got back from ALA, I had a bunch of choices, but I wanted to pick or something that like I knew that was going to be on my TBR. And I'm going to pick up The Last Fallen Realm by Gracie Kim. This is the final book in her Gifted Clan series, and I have been dying to read it. And it's also, like, on the shorter side, so I think I should be able to get through it. I have no idea what this book's about. I don't even really want to read a summary. I know at the end there was a pretty big reveal about who Riley really was. This cover is just stunning. So yeah, I'm going to probably start this and read about 100 pages of this and give you guys my thoughts. Um, um, but yeah, I wound up doing a lot of work today. I wound up finishing another Rick Riordan Presents book. But this will be my first book for the month of July because I definitely will not finish this today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go start this. I'm going to read about 50, 50 to 100 pages of this and then I will give you guys a time check and an update. Right now it is about eight o'clock. The reading the reading sprints just started well for that. So yeah, I'm very excited. I like Rick Riordan present a lot. I got a ridiculous amount of number of his book at ALA, but I also want to get better at completing series. I'm gonna start this one. This was definitely my second favorite um Rick Riordan present world book, so I'm really excited to dive back in. I love Korean witches, so yeah. I'm gonna go read about fifty to hundred pages and then I'll give you guys an update. Bye! friends i'm back so i didn't end up updating at all yesterday because i went to go see wicked with my friend jen it was super fun this is like my fourth time i've seen wicked but i have really enjoyed it every single time so that was really really fun um i wound up reading to page 160 in the last fallen realm by gracie kim i'm still really really liking this book i think this is probably going to be like one of my favorite series in the rick ride and present series korean which has just really worked for me um, there also is the potentiality of like my favorite element in middle grade and YA in the story I don't want to spoil it because it's the third book in a series, but I'll spoil it at like the very very end um, So that is very exciting um, I like all the characters these characters are also getting older So you're starting to have emotions more play into this story It is very very action adventure focused and I do like that like even though this is such a wide cast of characters you still do touch within with them a lot and I think I like this book and book one more book two is a very like isolated setting it was set like in the spirit realm um or in like the other worlds and I like seeing all those characters again I really really missed it I love her relationship between her and her best friend Emmett and that was severely lacking in book two so I'm really liking this I'm gonna read another like 100 pages and then I will give you guys like an update um but yeah I'm really, really liking it I haven't I think I'm gonna keep watching XOXO Kitty um, which is the spinoff to all the boys I loved before um, and I'll give you guys an update when I read but I'm gonna like finish the video that I'm watching I have two really really long videos that I want to watch and then I'm gonna go back to that um, and yeah so that's a that's sort of the plan for today I want to finish this I want to read I want to really like focus on reading this week while I can because July is my biggest month to get reading done so yeah I'm gonna go read a bit more when I read about a hundred more pages I will give you guys an update and then we'll talk about what I'm watching on TV at that point if anything changes but I'm probably gonna wind up finishing XOXO Kitty at some point today so I'll talk to you guys in a bit bye friends I'm back it is let's see it is about two o'clock so I did wind up going for a walk with the puppy I bike I bike rode between that as well and I also Read to page 250 in The Last Fallen Realm by Gracie Kim. I'm really enjoying this book, like, quite a bit. It's very, very fun. We're getting to a point where, like, I'm very intrigued to see how this story is going to line up. Hey, book dragons, I'm back. It is about 150, and I did wind up getting up to page 250 in The Last Fallen Realm by Gracie Kim. Sorry, my puppy needs to come speak whenever I start talking, and then she's complicated but I am really liking this I'm at the last like 80 pages of this book and I'm really excited to wrap it up I also realized that Nicola Coughlin is actually reading book two in the Her Royal Highness series which I was dying to read but book one was not narrated by her so I was hesitant but now I'm even more intrigued to like start that so once I finish this I'm also listening to Call Me Maybe by Cara Bestone as an audio and I'm really liking that it's like a audible original but I needed to read a really really short book on my TBR but I have one that I'm going to read so I can dive into Her Majesty's Royal Coven. 
Sorry, whenever I sit here, my puppy has to bite my wrist. I know, I know, I know. You want to say hi to the camera? No. Mm -hmm. So, that is where we are right now. We are reading this. We're really, really liking it. I haven't watched any shows yet today. Um, I was really not here this weekend. I did a bunch of stuff, and I... Cassie, it's done. Here, I'm going to hold her like this so she can stop biting. Um, but I want to catch up on my YouTube queue. I don't want my YouTube queue to get to, like, hundreds of videos, which is what it is. I'm watching everyone's mid-year book out freak out be book freak out tag which i already did but i like to like film mine and then watch people's videos kathy stupid you know how to behave you're choosing not to um so once i wrap this up i'm probably going to give you guys like an update on this and then we're going to pick a really really short book to read and then i'm going to dive into her majesty's royal coven so technically the next prompt for Margaret Warren our child will have two books because I'm in the middle of reading both but I really would like a short one too I want I'd like to start up the month strong but yeah I'm really, really liking this I have about 80 pages left I'm really liking it I'm shocked that I liked reading too oh my goodness I don't know what you want what do you want mom? she does not like me unless I'm talking to someone else that is not her um but I did want, I have about 80 pages left of this. I'm going to read this. There was a big twist at the very, very end. There was a lot of twists in this book, which gives me Ronnie Trashke vibe, which is probably why I like this book too. But yeah. All right. I'm going to go read the last 80 pages of this, and then I'll give you guys an update and like a entertainment update as well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey friends, I'm back. So I just want to do a quick update. I did wind up finishing The Last Fallen Run by Gracie Kim. I love this book. Um, the end really surprised me. Like, I <laughs> got to the end of this book and I, like, was near tears and I just felt for these characters. I think this series wrapped up so well. And, like I said in my review, I think every book in this series was so different and I just loved the elements of this story quite a bit. I thought it was a great read. I love the series. The ending was a bit heartbreaking for a lot of, a lot of reasons, but for a 320-page book, it worked so well for me. Um, yeah, I just really, really liked it. I mean, it just had so many elements that just worked. And I think that, like, the, there was an element in this story that hadn't been introduced in any of the other books that I just loved. I loved seeing all the characters again. I loved having them connected to each other. The sister dynamics in this book was so fun. The friendship dynamics in this book was so fun. And I really, really liked it. So I'm going to give this book five stars. It's, it, and I also wrapped up a series, which is great. So let me get my phone because I don't know it's over here. So I'm still doing the mid-year reading scramble and I am doing Margaret the Word Nurse channel. So I have to look at what I chose. So I my so my most recent book was this because it just came in the mail. And now I have a choice to read a newish release or a shortest book. Um so I think I'm going to pick a short book just because I just got back from LA and I have a very, very tiny book that I think will kind of set me up for success. So yeah, let me go get it and then we'll kind of chat through it. It's like very, very small, but I think it will work for what I want to do next because I have an, I have like another read that I'm planned that I do want to read and we'll talk about that once I'm done with this, but it's, it's helpful for an audiobook in the future. So let me go get it and then we'll chat through it. I'm going to pick up The Apartment House of Poppy Hill by Nina LaCour and I also have to like do like a connecting thing. I have to like connect this to another author like for a prompt that I'm doing so I have to like this is very very short. This is like 125 pages so I can really finish it quick and I have I think I, I don't know if I've read anything by Nina LaCour before. Maybe I have. I can't remember but this is super quick. Um, yeah. So I'm going to read this. It's like 125 pages. There's also like pictures in it. So it will probably be a really, really quick read. And then I'm just going to save it for my students when I go back to work next year. Um, but yeah, all right. I'm going to go read this. It, I'll probably read it in like one, one clip and then I'll come back. I think we're also going out. We're also going to get dinner. We got some decent news about my grandpa, but he's just not going to come home for a while. So he has to get, I think, a pacemaker put in, and he's not as healthy for the pacemaker that they have to put into him. So he's going to be gone for a couple of weeks or months of this, hopefully not months, but a bit. Um, hopefully he's not gone the whole summer, but we, we will see. So yeah, I'm going to go read this whole thing. Um, it's only 125 pages, so it's not that long. But 
I like books about apartment houses because it always reminds me of found family and this book also has a lot of found family elements to it which I really like so I'm gonna go read this really really quickly and then I'll give you guys an update when I can bye book dragons I'm back so I just want to do a quick update I did want to finishing the apartment house of Poppy Hill by Nina LaCour this is from Chronicle Books I got an early copy when I went to ALA and it was a really really quick read um Nina LaCour all of her books have a lot of diversity and a lot of rap but this book was just very very fun if you have read or if any of your students have read the Van Beekers of 144th Street or they're not quite there yet I would definitely recommend this book because it's very very vibe like that basically you follow this girl named Ella and she lives in this apartment with her two moms and this new couple moves in so she kind of like shows them about and kind of introduces them to everyone it's very very much about found family and there is really really pretty illustrations all the way through this book I thought it was very very fun and like it gave me Van Beekers of 144 Street vibes but it definitely was a lot shorter it's like not even 200 pages so if you're looking for like a shorter read i would definitely recommend this and it has a lot of diversity imbued with that which i really really appreciate definitely gave it four stars i think it's gonna be a series which i'll probably check out in the future but if you're looking for something along those vines like along those lines of the van beakers but you want something a bit shorter for your readers i would recommend this one a lot so for Margaret's The Word Nerd Challenge from Midread Scramble, the next book I have to read is a book on my physical TBR, which is so easy. So I'm going to pick up this hunky monkey, this beautiful book, Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. It is the first book in her series. I will be honest, the reason I'm reading it now is because the second book just came out and it's narrated by Nicola Coughlin and I really want to listen to it. And like I've tried so many other things, but nothing gets this book to me. From her narration in the first book and plus i have a really really pretty edition so i might even wind up keeping this edition we will see once i finish reading it how i feel about it um i literally just bought the second one too but it's okay i'll just listen to it because i want to read with her narration but i don't know what anything anything that that this is about i think there's a secret coven of witches that helps protect the royal highness so that's kind of interesting so i'm gonna go read in about a hundred pages and then i'm gonna give you guys an update i also have to go to yoga today it is also fourth of july which means my puppy is going to be a bit anxious today but i just want i'm gonna go start this i'm gonna go read it i want to read about a hundred more pages i will give you guys an update my goal is to also catch up on my youtube queue today so i can watch some tv shows later in the week and i will talk to you guys soon for my next video bye i mean for my next clip sorry is the 4th of July which is very exciting <laughs> which just means it's the kickoff to summer for me because it's like the first holiday that we get but it's also my first full week off which is super nice but I did wind up reading 100 pages in Her Majesty's Royal Coven and I have to admit I was very like ill-informed about what this book was about I thought it was a book set in the past with like qu them protecting Queen Elizabeth that's not at all what this book's about which is just fun it's fun how like you get stuff in your head and then it turns out not to be true but basically you follow these four main characters which I think honestly Nicola Coughlin will do a really good job audiobooking it like reading it because then you'll have like different voices which I think is fun but they all used to be involved in this company and they all have powers they're all witches um some are more involved than others some have completely left but they're all kind of involved after someone that they tracked down kind of got captured and it is maybe bringing about a new prophecy um and that's all i really want to say there's two, there's like three very different four very different characters that are kind of connected but i'm enjoying it it's definitely not what i thought i was going to be reading but i am liking it quite a bit um it's definitely very lgbtq plus all the characters live very very different lives you have two characters that are mothers it's just very very different i'm just really really enjoying it um i love anything about witches and i'm happy that i finally forced myself to pick it up because i was so frustrated that we didn't get the nicola cochla narration but we have it for book two so that's a bit more motivating so yeah i'm gonna read another like 100 pages and give you guys a time check it's 135 i'm on sprints with megan at books because i finally get to join sprints because i'm not working i'm gonna really try to sprint a lot this summer because i never get to go to sprints um, but yeah, all right, I'm going to read another like 100 pages and then I will give you guys a check in. So far, I think it's very, very slow. But again, that's kind of to be expected in the first book in a series because you have to kind of build your world. And again, this is very different than what I thought I was going to be reading, but I'm still really, really liking it. So I'm going to go read another 100 pages and then I'll give you guys a check in. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see where this book goes. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I will talk to you guys soon for another update. Bye.
Hey friends, I just want to give you a quick reading update. I did wind up reading to page 200 in Her Majesty's Royal Coven by Juno Dawson. I'm really liking this book. I think it's definitely not what I expected, but that's okay. I think that we're getting a lot of history from when this developed, and I think that's sort of what I thought this book was. I thought this book was going to be about Queen Elizabeth and her having like a host of witches at her thing and they do kind of go into that but it's at the heart of the novel this is taken like 23 years later and you follow four characters that are very very different lives but they kind of were a part of this coven and now a young boy has come into their lives and he might be the person that's going to bring about a lot of change and a lot of destruction um so yeah i'm like i'm very intrigued by it like it's a very like quick read um, it's told in a lot of different formats, so there's like, you know, the narrative, but then there's a lot of history developing, and it also has a lot of conversations about, like, the roles of, you know, white women in this society, and how they are, of course, it's called the HRC, I think, is that what it's called? The HRC, yeah, yeah, HRC. HMRC, Her Majesty Royal Covern, which is normally taken up by like white women and how their their power and their privilege is very, very prevalent and how it's normally white cisgendered women that have this power. And you see there's other coverns and other people that have different magic and then there's magic that's not seen. So it's like very, very interesting. And these four women are so different. I'm very happy because there's a character named Al in this, which means I can do it for my Avengers reading book because the last book I had had a character named Al in it. But I'm just very like intrigued like I am very interested to see where this story goes and I'm I'm happy that I finally picked it up I've been so bad about reading my fairy loot books so I'm happy that I picked it up and it's definitely not what I expected I'll be so honest like I was expecting a totally different type of book like, I thought, thought this was a historical fiction fantasy book but it's not it has elements of that but yeah I'm I'm intrigued I'm curious where this book is gonna go I really hope it doesn't do like a like something I can kind of predict because I can kind of see wait, maybe where it's going and I do have a copy of the shadow cabin and I bought it but I don't want to read the back because I think it's like you know will spoil me um I'm gonna kind of decide if I'm gonna also get the pretty edition like I have this one um I am tabbing it just because I have tabs and they look cute but I'm gonna decide if I want to get um that other book too so yeah that is that, that is my thoughts I hope to read a bit more I have like two more like longer video that I would love to you know finish tonight so I can go back to balancing out my entertainment um but yeah so yeah that is where we're at so I'm gonna go read like another like 50 like I'm gonna go read to page like 300 and then I'll give you guys another update but right now I'm really really enjoying it so I'll see you guys in another 100 pages dragons i'm back i just want to do a quick update it is a wednesday it's much later it's like almost one o'clock but i did wind up going to get my hair done today so it looks all nice and done i wound up going for a bike ride i watch actually I went for a bike ride i walk my puppy which means i listened to a little bit of my audiobook which is going to be a different vlog and i read about 100 more pages or read to page 300 in her majesty's royal coven by juno dawson i'm really liking this book again i said like in a previous clip definitely not the book i was expecting to read it's a very very modern story um and it has having a lot of complicated conversations about femininity masculinity transgendered and which which witchcraft it's just a very very interesting story not something i really thought that i would be reading but i'm really liking it my goal is to finish this book today so i have to read definitely have to read 100 more pages so that is my goal once i get to 100 i'll be pretty much set so but i'm enjoying it they're having a lot of complicated conversations in the story that is kind of background with this witchcraft world um and one of the characters that is kind of the prophesied doom is not what he appears to be i'll say that um and i'm very intrigued to see how this story is going to flesh out there's one character that um is becoming very hard to just hard to like um but i'm very intrigued the characters are very different too but again i'm having a bit of a hard time like remembering who's point of view it is because they're all so different like I just need a narrator to do it because then I think I would be clarity so hopefully the second book I read when I listen to it will be a bit better but I am really enjoying it again definitely like a lot of political conversations a lot of stuff about um there's a lot there's a lot of talk about transgendered in here and you know basically the only people that have magic in the society are female so if a male is transgendered is can he still be considered the second 
you know, the coming of the Satan. It's just, it's very, very interesting premise. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and the characters are going in very, very different directions, which I'm liking. You see very, four different, very, very different female characters and kind of their progression through the story. So I'm really liking this. I'm going to read another, like, 100 pages. And then I will give you guys a check-in and a time check right now. It's almost 1. It is so hot in New York. Like, it's, but I love hot, so. I'm going to read outside for a little bit. I'm on sprints with Megan Bucks, which I never get to attend her sprints, so I'm super excited for that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go read at least another 100 pages and then I will give you guys a check-in. This story is just very interesting. Again, I'm at the end, I'll see like where it wound up and if the story was a full thing, if it's like going to be more like of a companion series of book two which follows the same characters. But yeah, I'm intrigued. So I'm going to go read a bit more and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey friends, I just want to give you a quick update. I did want to finishing XOXO Kitty on Netflix. I think I'm going to watch Secret Invasion next. And then I really don't know what I want to watch next. So I might have to go back into the archives and actually wrap up some TV shows that I was in the middle of and then just stopped watching because that does happen. Um, but I did wind up getting up to page 400 in Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I'm really enjoying it. Definitely not overall what I predicted this book would be, but I'm liking it. I think they're having a lot of like really important conversations about um, femi femininity and magic and like, you know, oppression and stuff like that. And like I read a book by Mickey Kindle called Feminist, Fe Fe Feminism, I forgot what the title is. But it really talked about how white women tend to monopolize that movement and make it all about them. And they're not really like looking at situations or elements that like affect other women, like, you know, not white women. And I thought that was very, very compelling. And it just is another way that this was seen in here. And I just love that. I think the complexity of these characters is also really interesting. You have four very different women and the four different women are on very various sides of this cause especially when there is a big transgendered issue in this book like there's a character that's transgendered um and that is the potentiality is affecting his her magic and i'm just think it's a very there's been a lot of interesting conversations in here a lot of conversations that could be very triggering i will say that but i'm really enjoying it so i'm gonna read the last like 50 pages of this start secret invasion and then i will give you guys a check-in i'm gonna also probably export this footage and see how long this vlog is i have no idea what i want to read next to be very honest i, I have like a thousand things i want to read and i have to finish this, this challenge that i'm doing so i don't know what i'm gonna read next I also put Feel is out for a project I want to do in the fantasy romance category, so I really don't want to read any of my fantasy romance books. Um, but I am in the mood to, mood to read adult, so I don't know what I'm going to choose. But I'm going to go read the last 50 pages of this and kind of give you guys my thoughts. And it will definitely be a quick turnaround to get to Shadow Cabinet because I just bought it. But I also... Oh, thank you for the leg. That was so nice. That was so nice. That was so nice. What did I do to deserve the lick? Oh, you, I know you want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> um, but yeah, so once I'm done with this and I have made it a little way through Secret Invasion, I will definitely give you guys an update. Secret Invasion is not going to take me that long because there's only three episodes out. Um, but I don't know what I want to watch next. So, um, I'm going to go read the end of this and then I'll talk to you guys when I have a wrap or an end point for this for you. And then... We'll kind of choose a next read, con considering what the next prompt is from Margaret the Word Nerds Challenge. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> I'm back. I spent like the first 30, uh, 30 minutes of this morning trying to adjust myself to threads. I will try to link my profile below when this goes live. I have had a very conflicted relationship with Twitter my whole life. I never really liked Twitter. I usually use Twitter as like a news source just because I would scroll during work or like a couple of free minutes and that would how I got my news. But ever since Elon Musk has taken over Twitter, I really haven't enjoyed it. And I've never used it for bookish, bookish content because I honestly felt like no one was on there for book contact. I would go there to get book news and stuff like that. But I stopped using it like four years ago for any type of bookish content. So I'm going to use threads as like where I put all my fun bookish thoughts. So hope you guys want to follow me. I'll try to link it below when this video goes live. But I did wind up finishing Her Majesty's Royal Coven last night. I enjoyed it. I would say this is probably going to be like a four four star read for me.
And I think the reason it was gonna be it's gonna be a four star is because I went in with slightly different expectations. The ending of this book surprised me. Like it really, really did. And I think I just wish that the character voices had been a bit more distinct or I felt a bit more distinct in the character voices. So I'm gonna give it four stars. I am going to go up like prep this vlog to see how long it is because I am gonna start A House of Root and Rune by Ernie Craig in my next clip but I don't know if that's gonna be in the next vlog or it's gonna be in this vlog I just don't know how long this vlog is so yeah I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna start A House of Root and Runes this is the sequel to A House of Salt and Sorrow I'm on a blog tour for this book as well so I need to get moving I need to get reading um but yeah, all right, I'm going to go see how long this vlog is, and then I will give you guys an update. I'll wrap it up if I have to, or I will just keep on reading. But we'll see how long it is, because I don't actually know. So I'll see you guys in a moment with an update. Bye. <laughs> Book Dragons, I actually am going to wrap up this vlog, because I did wind up reading a couple of books, and it's like over about, it's going to be probably about the 30 minute mark, and I just threw all my books on the floor, which means my puppy is going to come see what happened, and is going to investigate. But my first book I finished for this vlog was The Last Fallen Realm by Gracie Kim, and I gave this five stars for review. This was a book that I recently purchased. Um, I really, really like this. I gave it five stars. The second book I read was The Apartment House is a Poppy Hill by Nina LaClure. I gave this four stars. It was very, very short. It was probably like a novella, but it had really, really fun representation and also like really, really fun just characters. It gave me Van Beekers of 144th Street vibes, and I really enjoyed it. Sorry, my ring light fell over. So I gave this four stars and then I just finished Her Majesty's Royal Coven which I gave four stars so I actually had a pretty good like reading experience very very fun and I will see you guys for part two of this reading vlog where I start House of Roots and Rune. Bye book dragons!